Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your 2019 yearly forecast. This is for you for the year 2019. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for all of the love and support that you have shown me this year and this is kind of my gift to you. Um, I'm going to be pulling from about five different tarot decks to get as much information as we can possibly get for the upcoming year 2019 for all of you so i hope you all are having a merry christmas a happy holiday a wonderful new year this year has been amazing for me um, and i hope uh, 2019 is going to be fantastic for all of us um, my one year anniversary is coming up on december 27th i will be back live on that date with a daily message i don't have anything special planned just wanted to be be here with you guys um yeah so i'm going to tell you what we're going to do right we're going to pull a card from the romance angels all right to see exactly um where this is headed we are going to pull a major arcana from the tattoo tarot and i'm sure you have seen other readers use these beautiful cards i love these cards they're absolutely gorgeous love that one for sure <laughs> and this is kind of like the overall you know any kind of major life things that we need to be looking at we need to be um, concentrating on throughout the year we're going to pull an oracle card from the vintage wisdom deck all right, and these are also very beautifully illustrated cards to kind of get a, a look, you know, more information, get a little bit deeper here to see, you know, the overall theme of the year. Very gorgeous cards here. We're going to pull three cards from the Angel Answers. We're going to go the first half of the year the middle of the year, the, the last half of the year, and pull 12 tarot, um, one representing each month of the year. Okay, so a lot of information. So let's get started here with the Romance Angels. This is for Sagittarius for 2019. What is going to be happening with Sagittarius in 2019. All right, this is for Sagittarius. What is going to be going on with, okay. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So someone very different from you, Sagittarius, could be headed your way. It could be a strong soulmate energy. So that is very good. We're keeping an open and open mind. We are maybe seeing what's out there. Okay. So let's pull an Oracle card or a major Arcana card from the Tattoo Tarot to see what other information we can get. is for Sagittarius. One card for Sagittarius for the year 2019. We have the Magician. Very nice. Manifesting. Manifesting new beginnings. Making this happen. Having all the tools to make it happen. Practicing that law of attraction, right? Making it work. Making it happen. We're bringing good things towards us this year, Sagittarius. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very strong manifester. All right. Vintage Wisdom Oracle. What do we have for Sagittarius for 2019? What do we have for Sagittarius in 2019? is for Sagittarius 2019 one card for Sagittarius oh we have gentleness so 
somebody, uh, you could be, you know, very gentle and patient with somebody that um, is having a hard time. Whoever the soulmate energy is could be coming towards you um, with a very gentle, understanding, caring, compassionate kind of nature, right? Um, they could be wanting to make something happen with you, especially with that magician. They are going to, um, I feel like a lot of patience is going to be involved. Maybe some healing, right? Healing needs to be done, uh, whether on your end or their end. But the potential for a new beginning is there. Growth is there. And it's going to be very calming, very gentle energy. What is coming towards Sagittarius in 2019? What is coming towards Sagittarius in 2019? What can they expect? What can they expect in 2019? Okay. Yep. The first card is choosing a new direction. Something you're not used to. A type of person that maybe hasn't been on your radar before, but can bring you some definite wish fulfillment. All right. Middle of the year, we have recovery. So clearing any blockages, healing for sure. End of the year, we're remaining positive. Another strong manifestation card, another strong law of attraction card here. Getting into those positive vibrations for sure. Clean, clearing out any residual nonsense that's no longer serving you. Moving towards a new direction. Somebody, some, someone that w came in unexpectedly. Somebody with a very gentle hand. I like this reading. Somebody that's going to be very kind to you. This is for Sagittarius for 2019. What is going on with Sagittarius for 2019? 2019. Any information for Sagittarius for 2019? Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. So a definite soulmate energy, number one. We have the Six of Cups here. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So somebody from your past may be coming back into your life. Somebody with having fond memories of you. This could be a soulmate energy that... Um, you know, you share a history with. Something that you're having a hard time maybe getting over here. Of course, we have all sorts of different soulmates, right? Some are here for just a little while. Some are in and out of our lives. Some are um, here for the duration of our life. And we come, they come in all shapes and sizes. But we could be dealing with some toxic energy from a past soulmate energy. We really could be. And then I feel like there's someone new stepping in. But the, the theme here is whatever you're going to be dealing with here in 2019, we've got strong soulmate energy coming towards you, Sagittarius, right? Keeping an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Now, this could be someone from your past that you did feel a strong connection with, but they were very different from you, and you didn't expect to have this connection with them, and we need to keep an open mind here, okay? We need to keep an open mind. Um, you did not really expect, 
you know, like a love affair with this person, but definitely a soulmate energy. We've seen that twice. So this, this person may be coming back, right? I don't think it's somebody that you have had, maybe for some of you it is like a, a like almost like a, a brief encounter with, you felt that strong connection, but it really didn't go anywhere. It really did not go anywhere, but now they're back and they're going to be back um, in 2019 and it's, it's like an unexpected return, okay? They're going to be very kind towards you and we're going to want to start manifesting, um, especially with the magician there and this remain positive, right? The law of attraction, they're calling you in, you're calling them in. Um, this is like a good fit, although they are very different from you. Keep an open mind here because they are going to have a very gentle way with you, Sagittarius, okay? So the beginning of the year, uh, January, February, March, and April, okay, we're going to be concentrating on getting away from a very toxic energy, okay, and headed towards <coughs> something fresh and new. We're going to be um, following that star, going after what we want here. Um, and we, we're letting go of whatever this is that's no longer serving us or trying to, okay? We're getting out of a toxic situation, all right? And somebody could very well be waiting for us to do that with the hangman here. Um, it could be someone from your past, a very strong soulmate energy regardless, whether that's someone new or someone from your past, either way. Um, but they're going to be very um, kind and patient with you, which is, I feel like that's where this gentleness comes in. Okay, so this is showing up for February. Um, I feel like you're going to be healing from a, um, some loss, a broken heart, you know, in regards to this toxic energy. Somebody's going to be, you know, kind of right? Hanging around, waiting for you to choose that new direction, to release this energy, to make a choice, to start moving ahead. A lot of kind and gentle energy around you through the whole year, but especially through the first half. Patience. Somebody's being very patient here, okay? And then April, I feel like there's going to be a reunion taking place here. If not a reunion, for some of you, this could be going out, celebrating, getting to know somebody, right, on a deeper level, um, hanging out with friends and family, that kind of thing. Three of Cups here, this is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So the first half of the year, I feel, is going to either end in reunions or celebrations or going out and with friends and maybe that's where you meet the strong soulmate energy that's going to uh, be very gentle with you while you go through this process of moving in a different direction and moving away from a toxic um, energy okay the second half of the year is going to be focused on recovery okay we are going to be um, and this keeps popping up for everyone <laughs> This is new beginnings. This is a lot of realization, very healing. We got Leo energy here, right? We're clearing out the old and bringing in the new. This is all about our happiness towards the middle of the year, okay? With this recovery card, right? And we have not only people there that are gonna be very gentle and kind towards us and very patient with us, but soulmate energies that are coming towards us. So it's very, very good, helping us realize, helping us heal, helping us to see very clearly here. The sun is going to shine on all of this, and it's going to put you at a crossroads here. This is for June, okay? And the ball is in your court here, Sagittarius. Which way do you want to take this? Which way do you want to go? Right? And you're going to realize that it's all going to be up to you. I feel like you're going to put in a lot of work and have a lot of success with a new soulmate energy 
okay? Whether it's a soulmate from your past or a new, fresh, new soulmate here, whatever the case may be, they're gonna want, they're gonna be, again, very patient here. They're gonna wanna put the work in and they're gonna be seeing success here, all right? Seven of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, so there's going to be a small offer made. They know that they have to take it slowly. This is all about slow, kind, gentle healing energy in the year 2019 for you. So there's an offer on the table. It's not a big grand offer. Okay, it's a slow moving communication, slow moving opportunities with this page of pinnacles. This is more earth energy. And I think it's because this person knows that you are recovering from something. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. So they want to take it slow. Okay. So that is very, very good. And I see you going in a completely different direction. A whole new path here. It's going to be a lot of realizations and a lot of healing. At the end of the year, you are feeling very positive manifesting right somebody's manifesting something with you this is potential for growth here not giving up working on our mind our body and our soul okay we may be taking a break here towards the end of the year let's see this is september contemplating what what these the first couple of halves of the year have brought our way we need a little bit of a time out rest and relaxation to absorb everything that's going on all right four of swords this could be therapy even you see how this person is laying on a couch right or you know kind of looks like they're laying on a therapist's couch and talking and getting it all out and and seeing you know exactly what's going on in not only this toxic situation that you're trying to release and trying to heal from, but this new um, opportunity here. I feel like it's a relationship that's wanting to start and it's going to be um, very patient and gentle, right? Gentle and slow, okay? So we are definitely in a deep contemplative state, remaining positive, releasing a lot of negativity. All right, October, we have come to the realization that we are going up against a brick wall with whatever this negativity is. So we're making the choice to finally put down our swords and to walk away from that situation. If we want to continue with all of this positive energy that's coming into our life, all of this healing energy, we're finally going to realize that we need to walk away from something here. And again, with this hermit, this is for November. This is Virgo energy. So healing, deep contemplation here and manifesting, 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 right? We have not lost faith. We have not lost hope because right there it is. And this wise old hermit is trying to guide us on this new journey, this new path. December. Finally, we are letting go of the old and we are starting a whole new chapter here. We're going to get closure on all of this past nonsense and we're moving forward in a very positive way. Maybe with a soulmate energy that's very different from you that you didn't even expect. Right? Whole new chapters here. That there's a lot of healing that needs to be taken care of throughout the year and it's going to be a process to get to this closure all of this toxic energy all of this feeling of loss and tears and and it's it's going to you're finally going to come to terms with it you're finally going to close this toxic chapter and move towards somebody that's very gentle and kind towards you and it is a very strong soulmate connection something someone that you're not used to maybe you're not used to people 
being kind and gentle with you, Sagittarius, but it's really opening your eyes to the possibility here, to other possibilities, and we're going to start going down a different path. This is a very, very beautiful reading for you, Sagittarius. A lot of healing, a lot of love, a lot of kindness towards you this year. It, it literally makes me want to cry. This one makes me want to like shed some tears here. <laughs> I love this. What a beautiful reading for you for 2019, Sagittarius. Thank you all so much for your support and your kindness and your gentleness towards me, right? I, I, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. So I hope you like your Christmas gift from me, your holiday gift from me, whatever you celebrate, right? <laughs> and I hope you have the best of, new, of, of a new year. And 2019 brings you many, many blessings because I see you going through a lot and absorbing a lot and, and letting go of a lot. And it's going to be almost like a magical journey here for you, Sagittarius. It really is. So I hope you all are having a wonderful time during this holiday season, and I will talk to you on the 27th when I go back live, okay? You all take very good care, stay safe, and Happy New Year. God bless.